I'm Chris with Bill Reagan Roofing. There are so many materials that make up your roof. To go over all of them will take up so much time. I'm not here to take up your time today. We're going to make the nine main materials that do make your roof and what the key components to each of those materials are. We're going to give you one major takeaway per material that you need to know. Number one, roof sheathing or decking. Sheathing or decking, it's the same thing. It's the foundation of your roof. If your sheathing gets wet, rotted, we have to replace it. Sheathing and decking, it is very expensive now with the lumber prices. If your sheathing is rotten, we need to replace it. The one thing you need to understand is that if it's rotten, we don't know until we turn it off and that could lead to an extra cost for you on your new roof. Two, underlayment. Underlayment is the final layer that protects your decking on your roof. The main takeaway is to invest in quality underlayment as it's the final layer of your roof. Three, ice and water shield. Ice and water shield is installed in areas of heavy water flow and potential areas of damming on your roof. Basically, it's a stronger underlayment. The main takeaway, ice and water shield, it is required by code on certain parts of your roof. If you want more, we can always upgrade you and add more to where you need it to protect leaks from happening in other parts of your roof. Four, roof vents. Your roof vents, are key to keeping the temperature in your attic cool for your house and your roof. Every time you get a new roof, you get new ventilation. The main takeaway for ventilation is that you can choose to install the same type of ventilation you had, or you can choose to install a new ventilation system on your new roof. Five, flashing. Flashing is a metal that is put on your roof where a wall butts up against it. The main takeaway, you might not have to get your flashing replaced, but if your flashing's in bad condition, or you want to upgrade, or you're going from three tab shingle to dimensional shingle, you're gonna get your flashing replaced. Six, pipe boots. Pipe boots surround your pipes and penetrations in your roof. Anytime you replace your roof, you need to replace your pipe boots. Main takeaway, cracked pipe boots are one of the top causes and leaks in your roof. It's key to get regular maintenance on your roof to protect and look after your pipe boots. Seven, ridge capping. Ridge capping is a thicker shingle that goes on the peak of your roof. Just like pipe boots, anytime you get a roof replacement, you need to replace your ridge caps. Main takeaway, some contractors are gonna use three tab to cut costs on their ridge capping of your roof. This can lead to leaks later and more cost to you in the future. Eight, Drip edge. Drip edge is the metal flashing that goes around the perimeter of your roof. Just like other components of your roof, when you get a roof replacement, you need to replace your drip edge. Main takeaway, drip edge is required by code. Some contractors will skip over putting drip edge on your new roof system. This can lead to an issue if you ever want to sell your house and you fail a roof inspection because there is no drip edge. Nine, shingles. Shingles are the primary component of your roof. They impact the cost, what your roof's gonna look like, and how long your roof will last. The main takeaway is to make sure you take the time and research to pick out the shingle that's best for you. To help you figure out what roof best suits you, go to Bill Reagan Roofing Company's website and check out our roofing material videos. I'm Chris with Bill Reagan Roofing. Hope this video helped you out. Have a wonderful day.